So today I want to share a little trick um, and it has to do with resin yellowing. You'll see me paint with a lot of white and anybody that's ever worked with resins before knows that like the worst thing that could happen to your artwork is for it to turn yellow over time. You make this beautiful masterpiece and sell it to a client. Five years later, they call you and they're like, hey, this piece is yellowed. It's a terrible thing to happen. So over the years, I have learned how to not necessarily keep the resin from yellowing because that's a losing battle, but how to keep your painting from turning yellow. And I'm gonna teach you how to mitigate that anyway. So let's get started. They wonder how I do it like that. Two step, then I bring it right back. They wonder how I do it like that. Two step, then I bring it right back. Yeah, so if you didn't know, my dad builds the majority of my canvases. And he does a pretty good job. He does a really good job, actually. I think he actually builds them better than I do now. This is not a custom piece really but it kind of is like in this instance the client hasn't committed to a custom piece i find that some clients really have trouble having faith that it's going to turn out i'll just make the thing and then it and then take it over and show it to them on the wall and then it eliminates all questions that they might have of what's it going to look like in my space it's going to be the right size am i going to like it uh, is it going to match with the colors of my decor? It, it literally removes all of those hurdles. Yeah, any opportunity you ever have to take a painting to a client's house or a body of work to a client's house, definitely go that route instead of bringing them to your studio. Bringing them to your studio or wherever you have your art is a great first step, but the thing that closes the deal is bringing the art to them and hanging it on their wall so they can see it. Anyway, it's like my secret sauce for sales, essentially. more blocks. Seems like crap getting all over it. All right. Go ahead. One more block. Yeah, so in this type of scenario where I make the art for the client without them knowing or committing to it, I close like nine out of 10 of those projects just because I made the art anyway. Anyway, uh, worst case scenario, I just sell it to someone else. So it's really not a loss either way you look at it. I'm just pumping my inventory up. As long as it's not a like super funky aesthetic that you're working with. Like if you're working with a very specific off the wall aesthetic, or canvas orientation, that might be different, or size. If the size is a very unique size that the wall needs, that might be a case where you don't just wing it. You know, you would definitely wanna get a deposit on that type of uh, project. That makes sense. All right, I'm gonna change clothes and stuff. What? This canvas is pretty big. And we are gonna put a lot of white paint in here. I mean, that's, that's a lot of white paint. I don't know, maybe it was too much. We'll see. Good thing about white paint is you can still tint it with other colors with spray paint. That's what I like about white paint. 
I'm basically just pre-mixing colors right now. So if you want to keep resin from yellowing, I've got news for you. You actually can't keep it from yellowing. Resin is going to yellow over time. There's different additives that they add into different resins, <clears throat> different compounds, like some of them have UV stabilizers. Most of them actually that are worth a crap have UV stabilizers in them. And then the really good resins also have a compound called HALS. I forget what it stands for, but it's, uh, it's basically a stabilizer that slows down the ambering process. It's called HALS is the acronym for whatever it is stands for. Anyway, uh, so I use a few different types of resin for different situations. Uh, yeah, today we are using the resin that has that compound HALS in it. Uh, anytime I'm using white, white paint, I want to use that super, super high quality resin that has a really slow process of amberings. But on top of that, again, uh, you can't, you can't keep it from yellowing. You can only slow it down by buying a specific resin, but how to keep it from showing up in your artwork is by top coating it with gloss white spray paint. You can also use satin finish if you want it to break up the finish a little bit. I actually prefer the satin finish to the gloss and I only mist it in. I don't spray like a ton of it in there. I just mist it over it. And what that does is it just basically masks the resin underneath it. You can still see some of the undertones and some of the dimension, but for the most part, again, like when you look at a painting, like especially in the white parts, you'll see it has a little bit of a different finish. Just a little bit. It still has the metallics. This is really crappy lighting in here, but it makes a huge difference. Huge difference. Your paintings will last so much longer if you will spray paint the white sections with white spray paint. I know it sounds crazy, but I learned this thing by accident. And uh, as I've discovered most of the techniques that I come up with, I incorporate it every time now that I'm gonna paint with white paint, every time. And it's, it's just what I do. It's, it's become it's one, of, one of the main things I use. Was that one a better take? Was it though? It's so dope. Shit's dope. Ta-da! Ta-da! Trying to keep it from flaking off. It's like all these little flakes flying around. Flaky, flaky. You all right? Yeah, Never mind. Oh. You just got this fun. Never mind. Never mind. You got this funny thing on your head. It's like a lot. Like a line from the mask, I guess. Oh, like, yeah, it mask. yeah, it's like your skin just doesn't move back. Weird. Whoa, 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 whoa! Now, hey, that's the same color, isn't it? We might need more paint. Yeah, we might. All right, so white spray paint. In this situation, I'm gonna use two different kinds just to show you there's not much difference. I've got a satin white and I've got a gloss white, okay? Sometimes this gloss white looks more yellow than it needs to be, so 
I like to use satin white. I'll just show you, okay? So that's pretty white. And honestly, if anyone looks more yellow, I think they're about the same. We're gonna go with the gloss white. Okay, so I will go in and I'm literally going to spray white all over all of the white parts, okay? And I'm just going to, I'm not gonna go too heavy. I'm just gonna mist it. And that's literally all I'm gonna do. The rest of the colors that I'm gonna add in are going to not be white. So I try to get that out of the way first if I can. Honestly, I probably should have done it before I even added any color into it, but this is okay. This is fine. It's like a million ways to do it. Actually going back and using more white, but that's only because I don't like to waste paint. So I'll have to go back and spray this stuff. Literally all you have to do is spray some white spray paint on top of the white parts of the canvas. That's all you have to do. Literally just mist a top coat on top. Watch, this simple. That's it, that's it. That will keep it from turning white. Now, I've sprayed some gold in here too. This is another little trick. When I'm painting white canvases, I love using gold. Not only because I love gold, but because it will actually mask any yellow spots that do come through because they look way more intentional. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. That's the one. That's the one I was looking for the whole time. Something about this blue. Dude, I need to go paint shopping bad, real bad. Like, like real bad. Yeah, that's that blue that I wanted. Where did my magic blue go? This is what I do. I can't see. I always cover up the name of it. So I never know what else to buy. I just have to guess. I kind of want to add in a different tone. Just a little bump. Let's do some fun stuff. Now we're going this way with it today. I don't know if I want to go all the way with it. Go maybe just a little bit this way. I just want to see more of that blue in this painting, you know? That really good blue.
Got to get those sides really good. You know how important these sides are. Getting the fixings. Make room for the fixings. Hey, if you got value from this video today, please hit the like button. Share this with an aspiring artist that you think could gain some value from this type of content. And if you wanna see anything specific or want me to teach something like a specific topic, drop it down in the comment below. As long as it pertains to art, I, uh, I would love to uh, make some content for you. I that up. Hey, if you got, hold on. Hey, if you got value from today's content, please like the video and share this with an aspiring artist who you think could gain value from this type of content. If you want us to make some videos about a specific topic, or if you have any questions, drop down your question in the comment or the topic down in the comment section, and we will do our best to provide a... Uh... What am I saying, dude? The first one was way better. Give me a second, just give me a second. All right. If you got value from today's video, please like the video and share this with an aspiring artist who you think should gain or could gain some value from this type of content. If you want us to make a video about a specific topic moving forward, if you have any questions, drop that down in the comment section below and we will do our best to make a video on it. Is that it?